Number 1. Hetafe The Style Outlets Here you can find one of the most famous brands with very good offers. There are sport shops such as Adidas, Puma, Reebok, Nike and also shoe shops such as Picolinos or Panama Jack. There are also shops specialized in kitchen utensils, chocolate and so on. Number 2. Sanctuary of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Located on the top of a hill in what is considered the center of Spain. It is essentially attached to a huge statue of Jesus which can be seen from miles away. The whole place is called Cerro de Los Angeles. The Santuario has Catholic Mass every day at various times. The whole place is breathtaking. Number 3. Cathedral Santa Maria Magdalena. Completed in 1770 by the architect Alonso de Covarrubias, it is Renaissance and Baroque in style. Mandatory place to visit if you go to Hatafe. The interior is very beautiful although you do not expect a cathedral as large as many others in Spain. Number 4. Nasica. A place with a variety of restaurants and some other shops, furniture, electronic devices, hypermarket, cinema etc. We ate in there and had an ice cream at the Ben & Jerry's before we went to the outlet mall. Number 5. The Hill of the Angels. Some say it's the exact center of Spain. Most think of it as a spiritual center, a place to meditate, go to mass. Most would say it's a great view from way up high of Madrid. In the end the huge statue of Jesus makes a statement not to miss. Number 6. Alhandiga Park. The park is huge and seems to stretch for ages so there is lots of walking to do. Lots of dogs and ducks and even terrapins so it's a great place for families etc. There are benches with tables and a small children play area and outdoor gym bit. Number 7. Coliseum Alfonso Perez. It helped that we had a day with no extreme sunshine, heat or rain and so the uncovered stands didn't matter to us. We also had a good game to watch which helped us forget about the uncomfortable seats and shockingly poor food slash drink options. The ticket prices are a bit much too, especially when comparing them to other La Liga sides. Number 8. Hospitalillo de San Jose. This is an interesting and quaint little place with a nice quiet garden area in the middle. We stopped for a cup of tea and enjoyed the quiet surroundings. Number 9. Auditorium Theater Federico Garcia Lorca. The Federico is a nice, charming theater, with a capacity of about 500 people I would say. Quite comfortable if you don't get the first row of the first amphitheater, which although it looks very good, especially if it is central, there is not much left leg room. Number 10. La Ciudad de los Ninos. It is very good, although it is true that there are no bathrooms, there are swings that there are not in many places in Madrid. My children had a great time, we will return without a doubt. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.